Happy New Day. And I hope 2017 is a great day for you. Now notice, I clearly said New Day for a reason. January 15th well, is a day that people stop following through with the commitments they made as New Year's resolutions. They are all pumped up and they are zealous and they start the new year one way, but then they become disappointed. And somehow, somehow one by one, they kind of just fall off. We have to follow the biblical instruction that tells us to take no thought for tomorrow. Now that's not saying don't plan, but it's saying your greatest focus should be on today and what God wants you to accomplish today. I look at 2016 and I could talk about the way we ended the year. There was a lot of joy. There was a lot of excitement. Why? Because the present truth is a soul winning ministry. We are about snatching people out of the hands of darkness and handing them off and safely placing them in the hands of Jesus, the marvelous light. We went into Cleveland, Ohio, 17 people opening night at this crusade. And guess what? We were excited about that night and we only focused on day by day praying for God to do what he was gonna do with no Bible workers, with no transportation, with no song service, with no choirs, without even a big budget. We baptized 107 precious new souls into God's remnant church. Some of them are already preparing to go to some of our universities. Others are training to be Bible workers. Others are just excited about attending church week after week, Wednesday night after Wednesday night, developing in the pastoral class, the revelation seminars, and various things that God has for them. But one of the things that I stressed in teaching these souls is to enjoy and praise God for today. Don't worry about tomorrow and don't let yesterday be your greatest joy. I want you to take that philosophy in 2017. Say happy new day. Count the days. God says teach us to number the days because brothers and sisters, you will become overwhelmed trying to figure out what is going to happen tomorrow when there's enough on your plate right here. I'm going to ask if you would pray for us today so that we know what type of decisions to make. So many people are requesting evangelistic crusades. So many people are requesting speaking engagements. And by the way, I want to thank all of you who have been supporting us. Our financial support from you has been incredible. We have not lacked anything. We have not wanted for anything. You have come through in the most God-fearing, superior way. We left Cleveland, Ohio with that budget completely paid, all bills cleared, and God is literally using you to allow us to plan to do more. Thank you. But beyond the thanks, my prayer for you is that you would stop and say, Lord, today, what would you have me to do? Today be found hid in Christ. And if you would focus on today, tomorrow would take care of itself. What'd you say? Why am I dressed up like this? It's 10 degrees outside. 10 degrees. <laughs> Taking a nice walk, praying, enjoying the brisk cold air. And I was praying for you and thinking about you. We are about to go home. Jesus is about to come. It is exciting to be a member of the Remnant Church. It is exciting to be a preacher in the Remnant Church. It is exciting to have what we have and to be able to offer to the world what we get to offer to the world. I was just in the Toomey luggage store and you know what? After the clerk finished serving us and I picked up the bag that I needed to start traveling, I looked at the clerk and whispered a prayer for this young lady. She broke down in tears, started just wanting to just share how thankful she was and how much she needed that. Be open to be used by God this year, one day at a time. Focusing too much on tomorrow will make you miss some of the most wonderful opportunities today. Thank you again for being a part of our family. And our family is growing rapidly. Keep us in prayer. We will keep you in prayer. Email, call, text your prayer requests in. And let's expect greater things tomorrow, if tomorrow comes. But let's be successful by being in Christ today. Happy New Day. 
as you enjoy this new year. God bless you. We'll be in touch. Look for great things to come. Ha <laughs> ha.